welcome back to another random Sam epic mom time for a book review all right this one came out several years ago and it caused a lot of controversy a lot of people getting up in arms so book is 50 shades of gray l james now i gotta say i loved the series and i really loved that after she did the first three books she did uh another three they gave our uh, main guy christian gave his point of view so this um 50 shades of gray of the gray series um is all from the chick's point of view anastasia and anna is she's graduating college at the beginning of this book and it's all about her journey from graduating college getting that first job uh, establishing herself while having her first real serious relationship um, she does start off as a virgin this is very erotic guys so there is a lot of sex scenes but um, everybody seemed when it first came out to be very focused on the sex sexual aspect of it which I'm not gonna lie I got kind of intrigued by some of the scenes because it's a very uh, dominant submissive uh, dynamic sexually but it came more than that so pretty much Anna never really had a serious boyfriend never really felt like putting herself out there clicks she's doing an interview because her friend happens to be sick so she's covering for her friend she's not in any way a journalist or anything so she goes to interview this guy who he's young he owns his own company um but he's donated to the college so she's just trying to get some basic information she doesn't know hardly anything about this guy christian christian gray and because of not having any idea she's following some notes so she's already intrigued him because she kind of fits his the type that he's attracted to and that in itself was kind of okay he's got a type a lot of people have types some chicks like dark hair some guys like blondes everybody's got their own preferences well she intrigues him because not only does she fit his physical type but she's also gives off this okay come on try bring it on so they're gonna work their way through he's always had very you know screwed up relationships where he has to be in control of everything in the relationship including her life and you know there are some people who can make that work some people need that structure in their relationships other people don't now before i get too much into this book i gotta remind you guys because there's gonna be people out there who are gonna be like oh my god i can't believe you're encouraging this or you know that type of lifestyle is very abusive and i want to say this guys as long as it is legal and it is between two consenting adults it ain't nobody's business but theirs now as a story you get to kind of get an uh inside perspective of what that type of relationship could be without you actually having to have that type of relationship now back to this story though what i loved because even though the sex scenes were really awesome even though it was very intense I loved the fact that Christian has always had submissive partners. He's always been in control. He's always been doing that. Anna does not. She's never had that in the past. She's never had the sexual experiences. She's never had that. She's jumping in both feet into this relationship. And the big thing is, is that both of them have unbelievable screwed up past. They have unbelievable damage that they are kind of curtain compartmentalizing that they've dealt with in different ways and that kind of changes how you look at things and because of that you know Anna really had to be sure of herself she had to make that stance of who she was as a young woman and because she's gotten to this point in her life even though she's very young she's pretty much said okay you want to be with me fine I want to be in a relationship with you but guess what it's not gonna be like every relationship you've had prior to this okay we're gonna have a relationship it's not just sex it's going to be emotional 
And that in itself kind of throws him because he's not sure if he's, you know, emotionally capable for it because he's had beyond traumatic past, beyond screwed up, you know, introductions to sex, you know. All this stuff has accumulated to a very controlled person. And the thing is, is that they are having to work through their issues. And I think that's something a lot of us forget is that each and every one of us have issues. We could have had the perfect childhood. We could have had the perfect, you know, teenage years. But there are going to be things in our past that kind of help define who we are as people. We're going to have preferences. It's just like somebody deciding, okay, I like red velvet cake over German chocolate cake. You know, everybody's got their choices. Everybody's got that. And in this one, I gotta say, guys, I loved the way the relationship developed. This one is going to, you know, start off with so many miscommunications, so many headaches, and it is really going to grab you in places. I mean, you might start to read the book because, hey, you know, you heard there's some really sexy scenes in it, but you're going to continue to read it because the relationship as it develops is going to grab you, is going to make you really like, oh my God, what is she going to choose? What is this young woman just really starting out her life after college? What is she going to make this decision on? Because the one thing I have to say for Christian, no matter what, is he's very upfront. He is very honest about everything. He does not want there to be miscommunication. He does not want... Um, to blindside her he is being completely upfront with what he needs in a relationship whether it's just sexual or anything else and she's being amazingly straightforward because usually for young women a lot of young women have trouble you know making themselves be clear having the confidence to say no this is what I need this is what I want in the relationship and I think that ha comes for most people when you're young you're just still kind of figuring it out but she's so sure of herself that you gotta love it. Here's this young man in his 20s who has established this multi-million dollar company who is just unbelievably successful, so sure of what he wants, coming up against a woman who knows just what she wants, but is willing to learn as she goes about, you know, how a relationship can develop. And I just love, I love the story. You just get into it. You get into the miscommunications, the reality being, you know, really hit in the face with what truly is needed in the relationship to make it grow, not just sexually, but emotionally. And I gotta say, guys, this first book, Fifty Shades of Grey, it is gonna catch you. And by the time you get done with the first book, you're gonna wanna read the second one. And then you're gonna wanna read the third one. These are not standalone novels, guys. These are, this is a series that you've got to read. And it wasn't until years later that once the series was done, that she wrote the next three that were just kind of um, the same book except through his point of view. And I gotta say guys, when I read the next three, just seeing how it would affect that person so opened your eyes because again, guys, I don't care what anybody says in our society, men and women look at things different. We are different on a biological level, we are different on an emotional level, just by the standards of what we grew up with and just who we are. So I loved reading the um, Three Books by Christian's perspective, because it really made you think, okay, this is somebody on, because it's so easy to look kind of straight down, it's like, okay, well this is how she felt, this is how she did this, and not really taking into account the other person's point of view. And that's why I loved the series. I love that she did the three books afterwards. So again, we're mostly talking about, you know, Fifty Shades of Grey, the first one. But guys, again, I'm forewarning you. You get reading this book. And you are going to have to read the next two. You just have to. You're going to have to wonder what's going to happen. How are they going to make this work? What is next? What is next? And as much as you're going to love the sex scenes, because God knows they're hot, it is the building of the relationship, guys. It is just going to catch you. And it's not just uh, Christian and Anna, uh, their relationship building. It's also the people in their lives. Christian's siblings, Chris, uh, Anna's friend and her siblings, the friends that Anna's had who wanted the relationship but couldn't have it. It's her 
making Christian see that, you know what, no matter what you think, you deserve love. And I think a lot of people thought that, oh, okay, she's only okay with this because he's rich and rich and rich. And, and yet, throughout the book, you're going to see that she's going to make it clear to him, yes, you're rich, great, it offers up so many more opportunities, but it's you as the person I want to know. You as the person. Not the rich corporate guy, not the, you know... Uh, socialite above my social class. It's you. I want this relationship with you. And that is something that we all forget a lot of times in our society that you can take all the trappings and they can make things unbelievably easy. But it's the person you're with that's truly going to matter whether you stick it out or not. And I loved these stories. They're so great. Um, I know that a lot of people have read them. So if you guys are watching this, please let me know in the comments what you thought of these books. If you thought they were just trashy, if you thought they were just unbelievably emotional, if you thought they were kind of exciting, please let me know. Because when these books first came out, this caused nothing but so many people being like, oh my goodness, somebody wrote that? And put it in mainstream? And it was, again, it was a big shock for a lot of people, but it is a wonderful book, guys. Please, for, don't just focus on the sex stuff. The, the emotions and the relationships that develop in this book are so amazing. Anna's friendship with her roommate is going to grow. It is going to be tested. It's going to have that emotion of how do you trust the person that's your best friend to know that they are looking out for themselves, but to also know that that person is going to the other person is going to watch out for you. And it's people who have had strained relationships start to build those relationships to be closer. And it's just so amazing, guys, because if nothing else, this book shows how not only relationships develop, but how when you're in a good relationship, not only are you growing as an individual and with your partner, but in a good relationship, you start to feel more confident in yourself to be building relationships with like family members and such who you've been kind of, you know, hesitant with. This book really shows, or I should say this series really shows that people, no matter what age you are, you can grow. You can continue to do better. You can get worse, you can get better, but you can continue to move forward. And I hope you guys get a chance to give this a read. Again, you can find this book online as an ebook. You can find it in stores. Uh, you can find it at the local library, obviously. Wonderful books, guys. Please give them a chance, especially if you are enjoying romance novels. And I'll talk to you guys again soon. <laughs> Bye. Hey, everyone. I hope you enjoyed that. Please check out our other videos already on YouTube. And give us a like and subscribe. And if you hit that bell for notifications, you'll know when we put something new out. So try to make everyday matter by finding the fun. You guys have a great one. Bye.